So folks, we're back here in the new LEGO 2K Drive. We're in our McLaren. Uh, this is something we won on the last episode. And uh, this episode, you guys wanted to see me build a boat. So we're going to be doing that because we have an upcoming race that I'm pretty sure is going to take advantage of the river here. But first, there's a new race here in town. It's called the drive through Derby. I'm actually kind of curious. What does the rival look like and what kind of car do they have? Oh my goodness, I think this might actually be the Taco Dragster that we saw from the last episode. I really want this car, so uh, let's go ahead and test out the McLaren uh, in race mode. Oh, I must beat Meatless Monsters. Really? Okay, Taco Dragster, we'll be back. I've got a mission to take on. So apparently this is a, another rescue mission. Um, there's a drive-in or something up here, and I think there's some more mechanical zombies or something attacking people. Oh my goodness, we actually saw this on the first episode, huh? We gotta jump in here and save everybody, and oh, it got really dusty in here. Oh my goodness, zombies have taken over the town. It's black and white. Okay, we gotta rescue pe Oh, I just ran over the victim. All right, here, jump in. There we go. Okay, go, 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 go. All right, we got to find all the people here. Oh, there's another person. Hey, 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 get over here. Hurry up. Okay, let's go ahead and drop these people off here. Boom, there's two. Oh, my goodness, they're just chasing people around. Come on. Oh, uh, just jump up. Oh, I think I just landed on them. Come on, everybody. Hurry up. There's zombies coming. Or skeletons. There we go. Drop those people off there. We have a goal of 25,000. Okay, smash a couple of these. Come on, get in. Hurry up. Ooh, just got to jump out of the way. Okay, so you gotta avoid the ghost traffic cars because I think they actually take away your people. Come on, everybody hurry up. Here, you get in too. There we go. Okay, we got three in here. Just smash through some stuff. Uh, avoid the traffic and drop off three more here. Oh yeah, this is easy peasy. Just keep smashing through the, uh, the old Lego skeletons. It kind of acted like there were zombies, but not, I think they're really just the skeletons. I do think there's zombies later in the game though, so that's definitely a thing. All right, let's take back off this way. Uh, smash up all, as many as we can on the way back over there. It seems like there's more appearing. All right, drop these off over here. There we go. We could probably drift over them. Oh, there we go. Just smash all of them. Uh, we're taking out half the city in the process too. Okay, another big run through the city. Just smash everything. Oh my goodness, they're everywhere. And, oh, I think I'm about to take it out a couple too many people there. All right, just drop these off. And we're getting close to our objective here. Oh, and let's pick up this group. Oh my goodness, there's so many around here. Oh, okay. Just uh, go forward. Was this enough? This might have been it. Oh, yeah. We have reached the goal with plenty of time. Uh, it felt a little tougher. Oh, they keep spawning in more. My goodness. We ought to just keep drifting around here and uh, using our power-ups to just keep smashing them. Uh, there's plenty to hit. I'm not even saving people anymore. We're just smashing through the skeletons here. Oh, there might be a couple more we can rescue here. Uh, hopefully, I get some bonus points here. Uh, we're definitely going above and beyond. All right, get the heck out of here. Boom, there's another person. All right, the time is wrapping up. We're still just drifting. They're starting to explode, though. I think they're starting to disappear. The skeletons don't like the sunlight. Oh, there's tons of townsfolk here. Everybody jump on. I might be able to drop one more person off here. On. Uh, there we go. Boom. 29,000. Oh, my goodness. We just unlocked casual grandpa as a driver. That's amazing. All right, we have taken care of that. We should be able to do the little derby race real quick with the McLaren. And then we need to build that boat for the race after. They get a speed boat with maybe a little bit of a uh, fun twist. All right, I really want that Taco Dragster. That thing looks absolutely incredible. All right, so let's hope the McLaren can get it done. Hey, the burger car is in front of us. And the chicken car is in this race too. Oh my goodness, that's like the ultimate car that I want. I mean, the burger was like definitely up on the list but the chicken car like you can't tell me that's just not cool all right let's try to catch our uh, taco dragster real quick oh my goodness uh all right this is kind of a cool looking map all right and oh i got hit right when i was going to shoot somebody is that an rv yeah, there's an rv over there hans get him within range boom i think we hit the other person oh somebody just ran me over there's a lot of boost pads and stuff on this uh, particular track i like this one all right, there's no water, so yeah, it would have been really useless for us to build the boat first in this for this track because obviously it's not a thing. But I'm assuming the race right by the river's gotta involve water, right? Uh, hold on, we're catching the chicken. Oh geez, uh, oh you can go through the middle pillars. Oh, uh, we gotta get another power up here. Fire those off! Dang it, we hit the wrong person. Oh, here we go. This is gonna destroy a whole lot. Dude, look at all the chaos we're causing on the middle of the street. I think we just took out everybody. Yeah, we did. 
Oh my goodness, we took first place by doing that. Alright, we're good. Oh, there's the taco dragster. What's up? That is so aggressive. Okay, gotta shoot for the power-ups here. Oh, we got hit again. Okay, so definitely B-class races are uh, definitely harder. Uh, they are, seem a lot more aggressive now, uh, which is good. Because uh, we were winning a lot in the uh, the lower division. I'm getting run over by a chicken car. Okay, oh yes, we got the minigun again. All right, we'll wait for some uh, racers to get in front of us. But yeah, this is a little OP. I feel like we can take out the whole field with this. Uh, do you guys want to go in front of me? That, that's completely fine. Uh, all right, here we go. Good luck, everybody. Just take out every, everyone. Oh, it creates like an awesome wall of just destruction. Okay, through the tunnel once again. Oh, the racers are catching us. Okay, save a little bit of big... Oh, and throw that behind us. Uh, all right, we got one of them. There's the finish. Just gas it up. It's right up here. I'm going to go ahead and start my minigun just in case somebody passes me last moment. Oh, somebody's boosting. Oh, that was close. Dude, the dragster came in fourth. By the way, I did switch to the cowboy robot or the yeehaw bot as my driver. Oh, my goodness. The taco draguito. Also, its perk is hottest sauce. Faster drift to boost fill and boost burns faster and handling suffers. All right, so it's really good in a straight line. All right, we got to check the loadout real quick. Was it a... Oh, here it is. Oh, my goodness. It's glorious looking. I don't know if it'd be a really good race car. But look at this thing. You can't tell me this isn't so cool. Oh, yeah, it definitely doesn't turn. Oh, my goodness. I don't know if you can turn this in a 40-acre field. Hold on, we might be able to drift it. Does it drift well? It drifts well, but, man, it's so, like, long. <laughs> It's a cool design, though. It's very, very creative. Also, I like the whole fact that we have uh, the headers coming out the side, and they're grilling like chicken. Oh, my goodness. It's cute. Okay, so we have the taco dragster, but we need to go build here. By the way, before we actually uh, start uh, building the vehicle, I wanted to show you guys uh, the Emporium. This is where, where all the money that we've earned in our career mode, which we haven't touched this yet, so I've been saving. Uh, but one thing that they do have, they do have some parts... Uh, for the build so that could be something that you buy uh, they have new racers boats just a lot of cool stuff here so definitely we oh my goodness it's a hot dog car um i want some of the extra parts uh so we're gonna purchase like the cool uh hoods pack also we have some really cool like uh engines uh that i want to have uh here so i'm gonna go ahead and purchase this because i'm thinking about doing something that's got a ridiculously sized engine in it by the way just to look at some more of the cars that are available to buy here uh lots of cool stuff so here's the different shapes that we have uh to start our boat with i think i'm gonna do this so i was thinking of doing like a top fuel dragster kind of like the taco except for on the water so this will be like the base uh where we would have the engine and you'd have the driver and it's gonna poke off the front I really do think that's going to look pretty cool. All right, so we're ready to go. So I need a, uh, a flat piece here. Uh, something fairly long. They can maybe this uh, times... Oh, they have a times 12. Let's do this one. Uh, so we're going to stick this piece in the center. So I'm going for a top fuel dragster look. Uh, I'll flash one up on screen, kind of give you guys an idea as to what I'm trying to do here. Uh, so we'll stick this one on top. Can I stick some pieces on the bottom to make it look like it actually floats? Also, by the way, the paint scheme, I think we're going to go with uh, probably white, red, and yellow. So we have some of these inverted pieces, which I'm going to have to use these here. Ooh, this piece almost fits. Ah, uh, that's kind of off-center, Han. Do we have a different one? Ah, here we go. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to stick this one in the front. Uh, we're going to create a wing on top of this. So the whole bottom of the boat is going to be white. I could probably just fill this in with uh, normal pieces. So say like that, and then we'll line all the way up like that. All right, so we have that built up. We're going to fill the top of the craft with these wing pieces. So I need one for this side, and I need the one for the other side. Uh, so we'll stick these in. So that builds that up a little bit. Uh, I want to use a big engine. I feel like I might have to add one more platform to this to make it a little bit longer. So we can go ahead and do that now. So let's get how much more space? Probably something like that. So we'll stick one here and one here. So that gives it a little bit more uh, surface, and then we'll uh, fill in the bottom of the boat. I might actually slant the back of it off a little bit. Ah, look at this. That's the perfect piece uh, right there. So I've got another inverted piece that should be for the other side. There we go. All right, that looks pretty decent, I would say. All right, so now we need to switch the color. So I think the next color up is going to be red, and then I think we're going to do 
uh, like a yellow. Also, real quick, we should probably place the gigantic motor in here. Oh my goodness. Um, this is definitely a very exaggerated uh, dragster. I feel like there's a chance we might need to put in one more platform. Or should we just mount it on this and have the driver uh, right behind it? We could build a wing off this. Honestly, this looks kind of cool. I don't know what it's going to do to it. Uh, but this is awesome looking. Oh my goodness. It's so ridiculous looking. We might make it a little longer in the front. Also, now I need to build a wing off the back of this thing. All right, so we do have the red selected. So what we're going to do, um, let's find a piece that we can slant up. Might honestly start with these inverted pieces. Can I fit one here? Oh, I can. Nice. So we're going to stack these up, and we're going to create a big wing here in the back. So something like that. And I can find a, a piece to make that look a little bit better. Maybe I can find another slanted piece to stick on top of it, or the curved piece might work. Uh, there's a chance the engine's in the way. Yeah, the engine's in the way on certain parts. So we'll stick one here. And actually, you know what? Let's stick a a flat platform up here first. So we'll go with the times eight up here. And we'll do... We'll stack two of those. Okay, so I think I've completed the wing design up here. Uh, I kind of like it. I need to add some more pieces. But the engine's kind of in the way for a lot of this. Uh, so we'll just have to kind of work around it a bit. Uh, can I... Okay, I can place pieces along the side. We probably need to do the cockpit next. That way I know where the driver's actually setting, which I think it's going to be pretty much right in front of the engine. Kind of like a uh, actual top fuel dragster. It's at a piece here. And maybe we'll add like a little roll hoop or something uh, to this section. So here, we'll build this up one more. There we go. That looks like it's plenty of protection for the driver, right? Okay, we're going to stick our steering wheel in. Let's go ahead and turn this like so. Uh, let's set them back here. There we go. And then we'll set a seat in here, too. Oh, actually, I do need to move this forward one, don't I? There we go. All right, so that sets in there nice. Uh, I'll probably add some covered pieces to kind of cover this up a bit. There we go. That's nice. So now we must make it a little bit longer and stick a front wing on this thing. And I think it's going to look pretty good. Okay, so we got this built out the front a little bit. So I'm going to place a piece under, and we're going to create a bottom wing. So I think I need this 6 by 2 by one uh, So we'll grab it, and then we will change it to... I guess I need to change it to white to keep the colors matched up. So we'll put this on the front here, and we'll put some arrow pieces on it. Probably going to make those red uh, to make it appear as if there is a front wing on this. So we'll put these pieces here and here. Honestly, that kind of looks pretty good. It's like a, a nice, simple design. Uh, I'm going to add some more covered pieces here. I want to cover up some of these studs that are exposed here in the front and on the side. So we'll stick these here. And then I'm going to do just a small like little hoop here behind the driver. Uh, just to kind of protect their head a little bit. All right, there we go. That is the uh, the Komodo Dragster uh, boat. I don't know how this thing's going to handle. We're about to go test it out. I can't cover up any of the studs by the engine. Uh, they are too close uh, to the engine itself, but I just want to see what it looks like. I feel like this is actually going to look pretty cool. All right, so we have the test course. Uh, I haven't stuck the driver in there yet. I just want to see what this looks like. Oh my goodness, it looks so cool. I love the flames coming out of it. And here we go up and yes on. Let's see how it handles. Uh, it turns pretty good. Definitely want to do a little bit of drifting with it, but man, the engine makes it. Uh, you can see where it's sucking in air, and it's just blowing flames out. Oh, and it feels pretty fast. Honestly, this is a uh, feels pretty nimble. I like it. Okay, we got to put in our dude. Uh, make sure he's setting. All right, he fits nice in there. So he's going to hang out a little bit on this. It's meant to be like a smaller dragster. I think the last vehicle I built, I built too much around uh, the actual minifig, and it looked a little odd. But yeah, this uh, I think this is going to work out pretty good. Okay, it's changed the loadout. I don't think I'm going to be winning much with the uh, the taco car, but I do have this car called Machio Beast, which I want to use. So that'll be our main, our off-roader. We got the driller, and we need to get our dragster, which I need a name for this. Uh, if you guys have any, uh, comment down below. I'll make sure I have my perks enabled, and uh, actually, I think I have both of them on right now. So yeah, I've got a B perk and a C perk. We got the handling boost, and right now I only have a couple B uh, perks. So I went ahead and went with the uh, Street Justice one. All right, so we must drive to our race where I think we're actually going to get to use uh, the boat. Uh, we should probably just go ahead and go off-roading right now. Ah, there it is, Han. Let's launch off into it. And boom, there is our boat. 
I like it. All right, let's hope we actually use it in this race. Wait, what are we going against? Oh my goodness, is that a cup of coffee? Oh, that's cool. All right, so it's called Glazed Overdrive. I think we're going up against like mugs of coffee and there's like a donut car here. Uh, what the? That is slightly creepy, not gonna lie. I'm gonna laugh if we don't, actually there's donuts. Oh yes, there is water parts of this course. Okay, I was about to say, it's right by the river. Uh, also, that is a donut car and a half right there. Uh, look at the uh, the names. They're all coffee names of the racers. Oh, that's amazing. Also, this is almost like a night race. Uh, it's pretty cool. I like that they changed the time on a lot of the races. That way you can uh, just get nice little uh, different effects for the environment. And, okay, there's donuts in the road. Oh, jeez. They're flying, and there's like a giant, like, mean-looking one way off in the back. And there's dinosaurs out here. Wait, what? None of this is making sense. I mean... Lego 2K Drive sometimes doesn't make sense, but it's like the greatest thing ever. Definitely having a ton of fun with it right now, and you guys are too. By the way, who's ready for this thing to come out? It's coming soon. Oh, I'm gonna get hit by a missile. Oh, geez. I thought maybe I could block it. Wait, where's my water section at? Oh, no. Okay, stay on. Oh, oh I somehow uh, managed to get the checkpoint there, but I am flying off. All right, we are... Oh, we're not really that far behind. Thought there for a second. We were really far behind, but we're good. We got this. Uh, we just need to get that water section. Here we go. And we can use our drag... Oh, wow. I got blown up immediately. Uh, we can use our drag racing boat. This is fine. Handles great. Looks pretty good. Okay, come on. Also, comment down below what you want to see built next. Uh, we got to make up some spots here. This is not a, uh, a circuit race. So you can see the progress in the top right. Oh, my goodness. Big rubber duckies. Okay. Uh, the waves are intense. Hold on. Let's blow up first place. There we go. <laughs> uh, I love it. All right, 81%. Come on. Uh, let's do this at the first try. I, I kind of want that donut car. All right, let's save our missile. Wait for somebody to try to pass us here. Uh, can't fire it back, I don't think. Oh, buddy. It's, there's the finish. No, we didn't get challenged there at the end. I held on to that missile. And, wow. Wait, where's the main rival? All the mugs finished behind me. All right. Well, you know what? We'll take the donut car. I don't know how much I'm going to use it. It looks really big. I got excited the other day about the big text truck. Like, they it was the best thing ever because it looked amazing. But it handled like poo-poo. Oh, it's a boat. Okay. Um, She doesn't look too happy about that. It's fine. You, you own a donut store. You should be happy. It's great. Yes, give me my flag, please. There we go. Uh, We're almost up to level 12. Well, I must say we've uh, we've done a really good job here. It wants me to go back to Prospecto Valley. Eventually, we're going to unlock the third biome, which you guys have seen it uh, once before in our very first episode where I had them all unlocked and I could just go do the tour. Uh, so hopefully we'll get to that soon. But if you guys have any suggestions for build, comment down below. We'll see you guys next time.